This video is part three of my 10 Falls video series. This trail is so amazing and so long that I had to make three separate videos just to try and cover as much as I could. Like I said before, they call this trail 10 Falls. However, our friends have joked that they might as well call it 50 Falls because there's so many obstacles along the way. This trail just doesn't let up. I've heard this waterfall referred to as the horseshoe shaped waterfall because it's like a big horseshoe shaped bowl as you drive up to it. This one has a lot of different lines out of it. Rich starts working a few different lines to see which one's going to work best for him. Rich's back tire climbs up over that lower ledge and pulls the rest of the buggy up and over this obstacle. Craig starts working this obstacle and feeling out which line is going to work best for his rig. And Craig makes quick work of this one as well. Ruby, come. So as I start going up, I first want to try that right line. It looks doable when you're sitting in the driver's seat. The only problem is when the front goes up and over that top ledge, it ends up dropping in a hole that's really dug out and then you end up on your belly pan and just lose all traction. So then I back off and I go try those left lines and I took note of where the other guys' tires started to bite and notice that that lower ledge, if I could just get the back tire to use that lower ledge like a step, it would pull me up and over. Once again, Gabe makes really quick work of this one as well. Just like that. <laughs> Everyone's rigs have a little bit different wheel base and a little bit different size tires, so an exact line that works for one person might not work for someone else. The main goal is to keep working it and feel what works for you. in um, 
in that Sims Mace. Every vehicle is just a little bit different. So everybody's wheelbase, uh, tire size, all of those things play into part on where exactly is the best place to climb some of these obstacles for everyone's vehicles. Here's another fun waterfall along the way. This next waterfall has a ledge that's kind of deceiving and what it does is it spins me over to the passenger side. I just have to continue trying to work it however I can to climb up and over it. This part's been referred to as the exit waterfall. I've heard people call it that in the past. And what it is, it's a series of two separate ledges. So after you get over this bottom ledge, then there's another ledge up at the top. What's tricky about this bottom ledge, it's hard to see in the video, is once you get up and over that top, once you get your front end up over, there's a big hole up there that your front end drops into. So if you don't use a little bit of momentum, it's kind of hard to crawl it.
down. Rich used a little bit of momentum to carry him up and over the first ledge. Craig makes really quick work of this obstacle. Well, that made it look easy. <laughs> Are you ready? Come on. Ready. I tried crawling it from a few different angles, but ultimately I had to use a little bit of momentum to carry me over that bottom ledge. You can see that front driver's side tire is all filled with mud, so using a little bit of momentum helped push the buggy up and over that. Once I got to the next ledge, I was trying to split it like a V-notch, however that back rear tire kept getting undercut and pulling me over. So what I had to do was back off and go a little bit more driver to balance the rig out and then it crawled right up and out of it. Gabe wasn't wasting any time and made the quickest run I've ever seen up and out of this obstacle before. Well, there's just one more climb up and out of this canyon, and it's a great feeling for this many rigs to get through a trail this long and this hard with no major breakages. I'd call that a win any day.